Today, I want to talk about what I bring in my care package when I am uh, traveling. So obviously, the first thing that I pack is my medication, Diamox, to lower my intracranial pressure and Propavon for my sleep. I am also on uh, a medication for depression that I don't have here at this moment. And I'm not going to talk that much about my medication because I do talk quite much about that so I'm gonna leave it there and I also want to mention paracetamol because I can also have headaches that starts really really fast and is very very strong so it's always good to have some paracetamol with me of course and I also bring a package of uh, silicon based earplugs and these uh, silicon based earplugs you can see you can just uh, form them however you want now those are single use so you better have a couple of them with you if you are traveling but they really really work great for me nowadays i always bring some fluid replacement uh, tablets and uh, they look like this so they uh, dissolve in water and uh, the reason for why i do bring them with me is because uh, my medication can give me some uh, nasty side effects like tingling in my toes and in, in my feet and sometimes in my whole body and uh, i do take this fluid replacement because it can actually make my make the side effects a little bit better they don't completely go away but i do make it a little bit better and something that uh, my medication can do is that you can actually pee out some sodium and some chloride and uh, some other minerals so therefore i also think it's important to to take some fluid replacement especially if it's a hot day so the next thing I bring with me is uh, my earphones actually and you may wonder why but sometimes I am very sensitive to sounds and therefore I just put my my uh, earphones on on me and they actually reduce the sounds around me uh, by the way my earplugs obviously works great for that but I mainly use my earplugs at night but uh, anyway, the earphones, I use them when I want to reduce the sounds and impressions around me. And I have found out something other. And I have found out something else that is uh, quite nice with my earphones. Because when you are wearing your earphones, there, there is uh, not a great chance that people come up and talk to you or something like that. It's, it sort of supports my privacy and sometimes I want to feel private even when I'm on the bus or something like that. And when I am fatigued I really need something sweet kind of uh, fast so therefore I usually have something sweet in my pocket that I just can grab directly and I like to have mints with me at uh, work because I'm not always able to go to the break room at work but I can always have mints at work so I can just take one up and uh, quickly get some energy and I think these are um, flavored and I think these are fruits flavored might be honey flavored also they I, they look the same and uh, so on something that it's more effective is actually just a banana or an apple or something like that but uh, i can't bring that at, at work to just quickly have something now these eyefold are something that i always have with me when I am uh, traveling, I really love to travel and I usually spend my summers traveling to different places in Europe. Uh, um, I can be away for three or four weeks maybe and sometimes you will end up in hotels that um, 
don't have great curtains. And it is really important for me to have a room that is completely black when I sleep because I do get a whole lot more symptoms if I haven't slept well. But I'm very sensitive to light, especially at night, so I really need it to be dark when I sleep. So then I can just put these on and I am good to go for the night. And they are quite comfortable also. And uh, I did find them at my local pharmacy, kind of cheap. I bought them years ago and they still work. Now the last thing is, uh, of course, to stay hydrated. It is so important for me to stay hydrated. So I tend to drink a lot of water. My medication actually, a side effect of that is that I do pee a little bit more. So I have to replace my fluid a little bit more when I'm on my medication. And I can be on my medication for months. I remember the first time I was on my medication for my rare neurological disease. I was on that medication for 11 months straight before they had to withdraw that medication because my pressure was about to go on the lower side. So they had to withdraw my medication for a couple of months. But now I'm back on my medication again and I have been back on that medication for a couple of months now so it's really important for me to stay hydrated because otherwise I can feel dizzy I can be very nauseous I can have this feeling of almost fainting and that has happened to me a couple of times and I think that is uh, maybe because of my fluid levels are a little bit on the lower side and I also love to work out when I had the energy to do that, I don't always have the energy to do that because of my disease, but it is just so important for me to stay hydrated, of course. And this is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. It really helps me support my channel and uh, spreading awareness of my rare um, illness. So thank you for that and see you in the next one. Bye.